we had a really cold winter while well, I was gone in Florida last winter. Uh, people say it went down to negative 15. I saw forecasts that were like negative 16 or colder. And usually it varies depending on where you are on the landscape here. But that meant that even though my grapevines are really hardy and they're supposed to be, some of these varieties are hardy to like 30 below, um, that doesn't mean that they won't still get damaged by cold weather and it depends on how hardened off they got, what kind of weather we got in the fall, and whether they were ready for that cold of a temperature that happened actually in December. So that's really early and sometimes the grapes are not um, fully hardened off by that point and so if they don't have the right chemicals in their tissues they can get damaged and that's what I'm finding here um, and usually it's the extremities that get damaged the most so you have like a first year cane like this and I think looking at this it's probably dead all the way back to here at least I can't really see it in the light here as well but this one definitely is dead back to probably this bud here and some of them the entire arm is, uh, the cordon is, is dead, or it's dead halfway out. So, um, yeah, it's been, it's going to impact the, you know, the harvest that I get this season, depending also on whether we get a late frost or not. So let's look at this vine here and see how far along the arm it died back. I'm guessing dead back to there yep right there okay so that's green so it died back at least to there on a lot of these spurs are all dead even though the the vine itself isn't I don't know though a lot of these spurs being dead I don't think we're gonna get much of a crop so this is what I ended up with it's <laughs> not a lot left of it but it's definitely alive. I mean, there's some good green tissue, healthy green tissue in some of these spurs, and uh, there's already sap coming out of them. That winter damage can really, you know, stunt and stifle the growth of a grapevine. So for those people out there who don't believe in climate change, um, this is kind of proof of what's going to happen. Um, these temperature extremes, not that this can't happen anyways, but these are really hardy grape varieties. And when you have temper temperature extremes like we had last winter, um, where I was checking the weather at, uh, at the North Pole, uh, and it was regularly much warmer or significantly warmer than it was here in Missouri. Um, so that's pretty strange when that happens. Uh, that is not natural. Um, and what it means is uh, when you have crops like this that are vulnerable to temperature extremes like that, uh, you're going to end up with a lot of economic loss. And fortunately, this isn't something that I really depend on for money uh, for my income, but, um, but it's definitely important to me and it's a lot of work. And when I have to cut this much off of a vine just to keep it alive, um, it's going to take a year or two to get this back into producing, uh, provided we don't have another winter like we did last winter, this winter. The warming temperatures have led a lot of grape growers in uh, parts of the country to try to grow vinifera grapes, which are the French wine grapes that make really good uh, wine, and they've stopped growing these hybrids uh, because it's warm enough for them to be able to overwinter those vinifera grapes. They also require tons of pesticides uh, to get a good crop out of them. Because we had had so many warm winters over the last 15, 20 years, these uh, grape growers decided, oh, well, it's warm enough now to grow vinifera grapes. And so they started planting them all over Ohio, places like that. And, uh, and I think in Michigan and New York and all these states that uh, used to have cold temperatures that were too cold to grow vinifera. And uh, so they invested all this money thinking it's going to pay off and uh, <laughs> I guarantee you their, their vineyards have been wiped out uh, by last winter's cold. And I, I think it was uh, the winter of 2012-2013, I remember uh, posting in my blog at the time and reading articles about how 
all these vinifera plantings had died back to the ground. So that was only, you know, five years ago or so. So um, they died back to the ground, and I don't think that winter was nearly as cold as this past one that we had. We'll see. All right, well, please subscribe to my channel and share and like the video, and I'll see you next time.